Uh, today in this video we will discuss exercise number 1.3 last two sums uh, it is from class 9 CBSC last two sums question number 8 and the question number 9 now let us see question number 8 find three different irrational numbers between the rational numbers 5 by 7 and the 9 by 11 as already we all know that between any two rational numbers there are unlimited numbers okay that those numbers may be rational number or irrational number okay but between any two rational numbers there are unlimited numbers so now the question is asking that between 5 by 7 and the 9 by 11 we have to find the rational numbers uh, irrational number three irrational numbers we have to find okay what are the numbers now One number is 5 by 7 and the 9 by 11. Okay. First of all, what you are going to do is this 5 by 7 convert in the form of decimal. Okay. Let us see here now. 5 divided by 7. 5 remainder. Already we have started from 5 now, but from this 5 to 5 is coming again. That means again it will be starting from 7, 1, 4, like that it will be repeated. So this must, this it will be repeated. So 5 by 7 can be written as 0 0.714285. 6 digits are repeated. Okay. Similarly, let us find the 9 by 11 again. 9 divided by 11. Point zero eleven eight the eighty eight two remainder zero eleven one the eleven here nine remainder that means again here nine zero will come it will be repeated eight one eight one like that okay here seven one four like that here again eight one 9 is there no 9 again coming now it will come next 8 will come next one like that so 9 by 11 will be 0 0.81 okay two digit repeated so now we have to find between this between these two decimal numbers okay so let us see here now this decimal number starting from it is 0 0.7 and this one is 0 0.8 between 0 0.7 and between 0 0.8 there are unlimited numbers okay so you can write any number okay without ter without terminating and without repeating so irrational number means what is the meaning decimal expansion of irrational number will be non terminating and non repeating that means i can write now three irrational numbers three irrational numbers between 0 0.714285 and 0 0.81 are so you can write any number here 0 0.7 okay here 0 point between 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 you write any number uh, I will write now 0. Point, it should be bigger than 0. 0.7 okay this number okay you can start from 0. 0.7 to 0. 0.73 like that you can start but you should not write 0. 0.10 like that you cannot write because it should be bigger than 0. 0.71 okay i can write now 0. 0.72 Two zero 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 two zero 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 again zero okay like this you can write one this is the first one next you can write zero point seven five one one five one one five one 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 like that 
it will be going on without repeating and without terminating then 0 0.78 Seven, eight, nine, four, six, like that without repeating. So like that you can write any three numbers between seven point zero point seven one and between zero zero point eight one. Okay, these are the three irrational numbers between pi by seven. That is zero point seven one four two eight five. And nine by eleven means zero point eight one bar. Okay. Next, let us see the question number. Last question, question number 9. Question number 9. Classify the following numbers as rational or irrational. We have to tell, whether, by seeing the number itself, we have to tell whether it is irrational or rational number. Okay. So, first, let us see. Let us remind you something. Rational number means you know if it is terminating, it is repeating then it is rational then if it is not terminating and also non repeating we call it irrational but some numbers like square root of 4 it is in the form of square root but here this root is nothing but order of this root is 2 meaning is square root square root means what is the meaning this is called order of the root order is 2 now and the 4 4 can be written as 2 square then this power this power and the, this order both are same that time it will be a rational okay then square root of 5 here order is 2 order is 2 but 5 5 cannot be written as any number square so that time what do you call irrational so this type of irrational number what do you call cert s u r d sir okay have you clear now children okay so i'm not telling that any number root coming means it is irrational not like that it will be irrational when the order of the root order of the root and the power of the given number will not be same that time what do you call irrational number okay or cert let us see here now first one root 23 root 23 means what is the meaning square here but 23 so this will be what is that irrational you understand children what i'm telling 20 here the order of the root is 2 now but the 23 cannot be written as any number square so it is irrational second one root over square root of 225 square root of 225 225 225 means 15 i think 15 square let us see okay 5 table 5 4 are 20 2 remainder 5 5 is 25 5 9 are 3 3 are so this number can be written as g 15 15 square okay 5 3 is up 15 5 3 is a 15 we can write 15 square so now this order and the power both are same now 225 can be written as 15 square this power and the order both are same so this will be rational okay children okay next one third one 0 0.3796 there is no dot dot meaning is stopping here itself this number can be written as this number can be written as 3796 divide by how many digit after the point 4 digit that means you should divide by uh, 10,000 so this also what is that rational okay fourth one 7.478478 dot 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 so here 7 after the point 478 478 it is repeated repeated three three numbers repeated now three digit repeated so like the three digit repeated means what do you call uh, rational number non-terminating but it is repeating so what do you call rational number next one last one 1.10 and is going on 
it is see one zero only here one is repeated but zero is not repeated zero only one zero two zero three zero so it is not repeated now and also it is not terminating so this type of what do you call now irrational okay children i hope you understand the sums so one point exercise 1.1 1.2 1.3 we have completed successfully and in the next video i will teach you exercise number 1.4 how to visualize the real number okay till then goodbye children keep practicing at home don't waste your time thank you so much for watching my videos if you like my video please don't forget to share to your friends and relatives so that it can be reached to everywhere those who are eager to learn okay thanks children